Hello there and welcome to another video by the MXQ Project. My name is Matthew and today's video is all about TWRP for the MXQ Pro 4K S905 TV box. So TWRP stands for Team Win Recovery Project and it was developed to recover install and backup Android firmware. Now we have this port for the S905 TV box so this could also work on different devices with the S905 processor in it. I'm not sure it depends on your hardware but for this video it's going to be about the MXQ Pro, this one in particular. So we're going to use this tool to backup our Android firmware just in case something goes wrong further down the line. We're going to also use it to install Android firmware. It's a really simple process all we need to do is grab a file, place it onto an SD card and then boot it from the SD card tray on the side of your MXQ Pro S95 TV box. So let's move on to the first part. So let's uh, go and grab the TWRP file from here. Remember S95 hardware is very similar so there's a good chance this will work on your MXQ Pro although it is called the A95X. Go to this website and then you'll see this link just here. Click on that link and we'll be taken to the download page. Again, it says a95x.image, but it should work on most MSQ Pros. And obviously, if you've got an a95x, it should work as well. So I'll just click on the download as shown. It might take a bit of time for it to actually load. And there we go, just download it. It's only 30 megs, so it shouldn't take too long at all. Once you've got the file, the next thing we need to do is we need to rename it. So as you see, it says recovery-twrp. So right and click, click on rename and just rename it recovery. That's it. That's all you need to do and then click enter. Just to show you what it's called. So it says recovery and it's an image file. That's why it should stay on your computer. So the next thing we need to do is we need to insert our SD card into our computer. Make sure it's a full size SD card. It's also good practice to make sure it's formatted to FAT32 as well. And then all you need to do is drag and drop that image file and it should just look like that. And there we have it, let's move on to the next part. So once we've placed our recovery file onto our SD card, grab your s 5 TV box, and then place that SD card into the SD card tray. Now, next thing you need to do is pop in your HDMI cable into your box, and then grab something thin and sharp. On the back of the MXQ Pro, for example, inside the AV port, just on the back, there is a reset button. You may be able to hear that on the camera. Now what we need to do is hold that button in and then apply power. And what should happen on screen, it should boot as shown. Now, if it does fail to boot, unfortunately this version of TWRP is not suitable for your particular hardware, there is a different option and I'll go over that at the end of the video. But if it has successfully booted, let's move on and let's show you how to use TWRP. So when TWRP first loads, you should be presented with this screen. Now to enter the main screen, you just need to plug in a mouse because that's how you're going to control it. And then use the mouse just to swipe this across. And then you'll be presented with this. There's quite a lot to TWRP and we won't go into everything. But just to go over the basic overview, if you want to back up your Android firmware, for example, click on backup. And then what we do is just swipe to back up. As you can see, the system's gonna back up, data and the boot as well. So if I were to do that right now, that would actually create a backup onto the internal storage on the MXQ Pro box. I don't want it to do that. So what I'd do is I'd select storage and then select micro SD card and then click OK and then proceed to do that. Now that would take actually quite a bit of time to actually create that backup. But once it's done, it will create a folder. Now that will create a folder on your SD card and you need to keep that folder safe. Now. If anything goes wrong with your Android system and you want to recover that, all you need to do is you need to launch TWRP again and click restore and then select your storage where you're going to get that folder from. And then once you click OK, 
it should display a folder here. Now I've not got any backups on the SD card at the moment, but one if you were to do it, it would display that backup here. And all you do is click on the backup and then follow the instructions on screen. Now there is a few other things you can do with TWRP. One thing is, for example, is that you can actually swipe to factory reset it. You can format the data. There is also advanced settings where you can wipe certain parts of it if you want to. And I think that pretty much covers what we're going to cover today on TWRP. So there we have it. That's how to boot TWRP and use it from an S905 Amortra TV device. Now if you fail to boot yours, don't worry too much, we can try out a few different versions of TWRP. I'll leave the links in the description. Now if you don't have that reset button, because some hardware for some reason doesn't have it, you can use other methods to actually boot it into your SD card. One of those is something called Rasher. Now I'll leave a link in the description to this, and it is a Android application, and it is a simple application, and it allows you to do similar things to actually TWRP. You can actually back up your system with this and do other things, including reboot to recovery, which should launch it if it's compatible with your hardware. We can also use something called Terminal. It's a simple app, and what you can do, you can do actually, you can do a myriad of things with Terminal. One of the things is you can reboot recovery with that, and again, it should launch it. Now there's not many TV boxes out there without these little reset buttons inside, but there are a few. So if you do come across one, then you have got the option to do those. I won't cover that in this video, but I'll probably cover that in another one. But I'll leave the links in the description to all those. So thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give me a dislike. Come and check us out on Facebook, come check out the website out, and come and join us on the forum as well. So until next time. Have a good one.